Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Big Boy Variety, and this week is a doozy. Week number four of the college football season is upon us. The SEC is opening up play this week. Um, there's also been some talks about UMass, you know, coming back, you know, and playing a limited schedule in the fall as well. But that's not what we're here to talk about. Um, again, you know, there could be cancellations. There already has been. Um, I believe UTSA replaced the game against Memphis with Middle Tennessee. So they moved that conference game up to this week. Um, it's a Thursday game. It's a Friday game. And then we got a whole slate of Saturday games once again. First off, let's start off with the obvious Saturday games. You know, big noon kickoff. And Oklahoma fans are already going to be angry because, you know, Kansas State is coming in off that humiliating loss to Arkansas State. And this is really Spencer Rattler's first test. This is really, you know, the first time he's played somebody that's, you know, not an FCS team. Well, I mean, this is his second start. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Notre Dame. What can the Fighting Irish do against Wake Forest? Um, should be interesting to see that. Um, we got Florida taking on Ole Miss. And, I mean, it, it's going to be very interesting to see what the Mississippi schools can do with their new head coaches, you know. And, and Florida, Florida's been talked up. They've been hyped up as a national championship contender. We'll see if that holds true, but I honestly doubt it. And in the meantime, you know, a fourth option would be Kentucky taking on Auburn. And Kentucky is also a team returning a lot of talent, of course. And things should get very interesting from there. But really, the 230 window is just stacked. The 330, 230 window it is stacked. We got ranked Army, ranked Cincinnati, which should be the Saturday night game, but we're not going to talk about that right now um, because of the actual Saturday night game, which is already um, pissing me off. Ugh. But, you know, we got Mike Leach in Mississippi State taking on the COVID rattled, lost a lot of players from the national championship team. We're talking about the defending national champions, the LSU Tigers, baby. And that will kick off CBS's slate this year. Keep your eyes out on two Big 12 matchups. My Texas Longhorns are going up against Texas Tech. Texas Tech did not look the greatest against Houston Baptist when they last played. Meanwhile, what can Oklahoma State do? I mean, I know they have, you know, a second string quarterback in now. And as far as West Virginia goes, um, I don't really have much to say about them. They didn't really play anybody, I don't think, the first couple weeks of the season either. So, um, yeah, I've got nothing on that. Meanwhile, late the late games include, you know, Alabama taking on Missouri. But, I mean, who cares about, you know, that game because it's Missouri – and, you know, Alabama just has tons of talent. It doesn't matter if, you know, players opt out or they're injured. It's Alabama. They reload, baby. So I'm not expecting, you know, something too big out of that game. But the big Saturday night game, unfortunately, this week is Florida State taking on Miami. Now, the last time I saw Florida State was, you know, a couple weeks back when they got – surprised, I'll say, by Georgia Tech because they blew a 13-point lead. I mean, what can you say about that? You know, Miami has De'Aaron King, so yeah, De'Aaron King has been lighting it up all over the place, you know, the last two, the last couple of games that Miami's played. And it should honestly be no different. Florida State's defense can't handle the pressure. You know, Miami plays really, really fast. And, you know, the seven O's got to keep up. <laughs> and then lastly, um, 
you know, this week we do have a pretty late game, which is not surprising at all. And that is Troy taking on BYU. So BYU after dark, baby. No patch well after dark. We have BYU after dark this week. Um, that'll be, you know, 10 o'clock or 9.15. And that's, you know, that's a game that's going to be interesting because BYU was supposed to play last weekend against Army, but they just could not, you know, get it together. It wasn't Army's problem. It was BYU's problem. And things should go well. Because, I mean, Troy is the team that, you know, you don't really hear much about. BYU, you know, the last time we saw them was on Labor Day. So they haven't played in a while. And I got to tell you, that that three weeks off is really not a moment. It's not a big um, of a momentum shift. As you would like to think, you know, three weeks off, you know, COVID test results coming back positive. Things are not looking the greatest right now if you're a BYU fan. And if this game gets canceled, you know, like any other game on the schedule, I'm going to be sad. I mean, it's just, it's, it's the only way. It's the only, you know, it's the only method to our madness here in college football this year. You know, we get all sad. When a game gets canceled, we get happy, you know, when a game gets rescheduled. So there's that. Um, as far as the other conferences go that aren't the Big Ten, MAC is thinking about coming back. The Pac-12 is still thinking about coming back. Mountain West is still thinking about coming back. So did I say Big 12? I meant to say Big Ten. If it's so, uh, I mean, I don't care. I don't care. This video is unedited anyway. Uh, but yeah, an interesting slate, much more interesting than last week, um, as you've already seen by my recap for week number three, which is only about four minutes long or something like that, because I mean, the games were just not interesting, but we have a litany of games spread out, you know, mostly in the noon and two in the 3.30 windows, and you know, Saturday night doesn't look all that promising, but you know, you never know. It's college football, man, and it's any given Saturday around these parts. So, that being said, I don't know why. I mean, I know why, because I mean, people have been spreading the video around. But be sure to you know keep up the good work, everybody. Come on down, subscribe, like, share, do all that. Um, and keep watching the indoor football videos, these college football videos, these NFL videos. Uh, we're it's a year round type of thing, baby. So again, I'll see you after the Monday night game, probably on probably late at midnight or something like that, or Tuesday morning. So to talk about week two, because we got a we got a lot to cover on week two of the NFL season, man. So y'all take care, and I'll see you again soon.